so guys it's your boy Dick Dash for back another video in this video I'm going to give you a tour a tour of the daily driver you know the little runabout you know that I used to get from A to B you know to do like little bits of shopping here and there you know just generally just to kind of you know save costs by running around by styling but this right here I fucking wish this is not my daily driver say hello Diggy Dash Daily Driver. It's a smart 4 2 edition one with the black wheels, the motherfucking black wheels. But yeah, this car, this car's a wonderful car. It's a great little runabout. It's a city car. And it's this small, it's only a two seater. But it's so much fun to drive. It's so much fucking fun to drive. I cannot express just how much fun it is to drive. Right, so let's have a quick look inside, a little tour of it, my go for a little spin. But I might do that in a separate video. But yeah, as I said, this is the edition one, it's got 16 inch wheels. Edition one special because it's got a 900cc turbo engine, which puts out like, oh, fuck's sake, and then you 90 horsepower, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's like nearly 100 bhp per ton, so that's quite impressive. And it's quite pokey, you know, this car doesn't weigh very much. But yeah, this is the boo. As you can see there isn't much to it it's tiny and you know, as you can see that it split folds so this can actually be used as a seat funnily enough it can take up to 100 kilograms in weight so i think that's about me i'm at the limit but not um there's a parking shelf which retracts like I said, this is like the daily, so I'm, I barely cleaned it. You know, this is just real life. So there's a Mercedes-Benz umbrella which came with a car. <laughs> right, the engine is only fair. So as you can imagine, it can get quite warm. And this car is rear engine, as you can see. Rear wheel drive. So it's quite, it's quite a lot of fun. And the advantage of it being rear wheel drive and having the engine in the back is that the front wheels can turn so much. It's got the turning circle tighter than a London taxi. So um, yeah, here's a boot. It's a great space. Well, you can't really do like your, your meat shopping because, you know, it gets a bit warm with the engine back here. So you more like to kind of like bake your goods. It doesn't get like excessively hot, but I'm just saying, you just, you just be very wary of what you put in the boot. What's that? Glad to know what have I done. That's it. Pull this out. Let's close that. Let's have a look inside. So it's got the glass, glass roof. It's got the glass panel on it roof, which is wonderful. That's a fuel filler cap. Which goes in there. Goes in there. Oh, well, another little nice little feature is, as is the addition one, it's got the LED lights. Which I'll show you in a second. Let me just turn this around and show you. Yeah, this is a three-cylinder engine. It's a turbo engine, though. But yeah, it's got the, the nice light in the ray around here, which is wonderful. And another cool thing about the addition one is this strip here. Most marks have the four dots. Addition one has the the what you want to call it, the eyeliner or whatnot. It's fucking cool. So yeah. It's got the Triton safety cell, which is this orange bit here. This keeps you safe in a crash. Very, very strong. So yeah, here's the interior. Let me close it. There you go. So, this is the interior of the smart car. As you'll see, you've got the orange contrasting with the gray. <coughs> Excuse me. This is fabric. This is very, very nice. It feels like the inner lining of a trainer. Also got fabric on the doors, contrasting with the seats, the stitching. It's fucking cool. And you know, the, these, these all light up yellow, orange, whatever you want to call it. So it's, it's a very nice place to be. It's very different, very funky, very cool. So you got the window switches here. So mirror switches, you got the windows, obviously the switches over here. 
both sides. You've got the climate control. It's the infotainment system. Um, it has built in GPS and blah, blah, blah. Let me turn it on and then turn it back off. Ah, oh, shit, it's too loud. All right. So it's got built in GPS, can wire up to Bluetooth, blah, 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 blah. So it's a touch screen as well. It's quite a cool unit. I see that's the digital dash. So you've got the speed, can you see it? Well, okay. Speed on the top right here. And this is the tachyometer, sorry, the rev counter. So, there you go, as you can see. It sounds quite beefy. But yeah, it's got these really cool air vents, which you can just turn around. I mean, this is so cool and tactile. That's the good thing about this car, this car is very tactile. I mean, even, it's very satisfying to play these switches. It's really cool. I have a lump of wood there for no reason. Additional ones you can see that came with the car. Got the glass roof. There you go, there's a shade. Which is kind of cool. And each some blinds has a mirror. Hi, hi. Right, and the speakers go there. The speaker system is not too bad in this one. You know, what else can I show you about this car? But yeah, this is the daily. You know, it's got other hidden compartments such as this where I keep stuff that I need for life, like Vaseline. Got to keep your lips moist. I'm telling you, dry, crusty, crusty lips. Fuck no, can't abide that shit. And this is just a, a voltage meter, which I plug in just to check the car voltage every once in a while. Plug into the cigarette lighter. So yeah, good stuff in there. Glove box, tiny. What the fuck is this? All right, and obviously the door pockets. Oh, back here you've got a cup holder as well. So it's got one, two, three cup holders. And this is wide enough, this slot here. So you can insert your mobile phone. This is a charger that I bought from fuck knows where. You've got your SD card slot. Your auxiliary port, you know how important that is for people. Sad. Sad. Um, I use Bluetooth, so fuck that shit. Right, and you've got the USB socket. But yeah, it's quite a nice car. It's got quite a good gear shift as well. It's very clicky, very notchy. But it feels wonderful, changing gears. Um, obviously, the steering wheel is here. All the controls you need. Limit your speed, it's got speak, it's got cruise control. You can change the settings up and down with this and resume your speed control and turn the volume up and down. And you can speak to the car as well. Then you've got your traditional stalks and whatnot. But yeah, I mean, this car is wonderful. It's a nice little city car, just get it from A to B. And you can turn your passenger airbag off. Not done that. Probably might have, no, I don't even need to. But yeah, it's just a nice little space. Oh, there's one more thing I can show you real quick. Let me turn this joint off. So, sorry, it's a bit windy out here. As you can see, <laughs> do that again because I did it too fast. The seat can go forward, I have to slide it forward. And back here, you've got cargo nets. Which can store bits and pieces. And also, oh, that's disgusting. But yeah, this can come off and give you a bit more space. So if you've got like a huge body, you need to like take somewhere, you can just open up the space, pass it through, and there you go. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. This is a brief look at the Smart Edition 1, the little daily runner out. Fucking love this car. So, um, yeah, please like, subscribe if you want to. And, um, yeah, see you on the next one. Take care. Peace.